Now, deep within the Arctic Circle lies what's known as a doomsday vault or the global seed vault. Now, this is where countries around the world have been sending plant DNA to protect it from possible catastrophe, including war and climate change. Laura Megan Isherwood is in the icy archipelago of Svalbard, where the latest batch of seed samples has just been delivered. This is Svalbard an Arctic archipelago between Norway and the North Pole. Temperatures regularly dip to minus 30 degrees. Surviving here is tough. But buried deep in the mountains is a structure with the sole purpose of conserving life, the global seed vault. Behind heavy doors and concrete, more than a million seed samples sit in permafrost, the world's most important and diverse crops, including wheat, peas and beans, sent by scientists from hundreds of the world's gene banks to this remote corner of the earth in a bid to keep crucial DNA safe from catastrophe. You never know what can happen with gene banks, but it can be a fire, it can be a flooding, it can be just a stupid fault by a, a some from the staff that uh, turn off the refrigerators or something. So you need to have a safety backup because the seeds in a gene bank, they're unique. So this uniqueness is your safety insurance for the future. That future includes rising global temperatures and shifting climates. Scientists say putting as many seeds as possible on ice now will ensure the global population can be fed in the decades to come. Under climate change, that means rougher climate, higher temperatures, longer droughts, more flooding, new pests and diseases. And our food, our crops need to be resilient. They need to cope with these changing circumstances. And therefore plant breeders need all those varieties. Take the genetic traits out of it, mix them, crossbreed them to make sure that the new varieties are fit for the future. It's perhaps a dark irony that the global seed vault concept germinated in a coal mine. Svalbard's wealth was built on this fossil fuel. Now it's one of the fastest warming places on Earth. This mine is now decommissioned, but within its icy channels, scientific testing continues. So what you have in the container behind me is a lot of wooden boxes with different species of, uh, of, of crops. There will be peas, beans, uh, spinach and some more crops. They are put into sealed uh, glass uh, vials and they put in there and then uh, every fifth year the uh, one box is being taken out, open and then the seeds will be uh, tested for viability. It will be tested for if there have, have, have any changes. That experiment and Svalbard's unique location led the Norwegian government to decide to build a vault for all nations to use. For the last 15 years, samples have been flown in, foil packed and ready for their new home. <laughs> the West African nation of Benin is taking part for the first time this year, depositing packages of maize, rice, soybean and other key commodities. With energy supplies at home unreliable, the director of the country's gene bank says moving stocks from the equator to the Arctic is the only way to guarantee DNA can be conserved. We keep the seeds in a freezer and uh, the light go and power come back. It changes the inside temperature in the freezer and this affects the germination of the seeds and then we lost a lot of, of our sessions. It is important to duplicate so that if anything happened to what we are conserving in our country, uh, we can get it back from the vault. The Crop Trust, an international organization that works to protect global crop diversity, led a project supporting transport costs for developing nations. Once inside, storage is free. The scientists that manage this vault say it is the world's ultimate insurance policy, a frozen archive of biodiversity that can be tapped into for generations. There has been just one withdrawal made so far when a gene bank in Syria was destroyed by war in 2015. Be it conflict or climate, scientists say Svalbard offers hope in otherwise dark times. Laura Makin-Isherwood, CNA, Svalbard in the Arctic Circle.